Okay, we just flew a TDF for 14 minutes. It's a great flight. Nothing major. Well, now we're gonna fly my all-time favorite. This thing handles like no other heli I've ever flown. Oxy-5 is coming in a second close, but I've only had like two flights and I had some problems with the Gov. So maybe that one will supplant it, but till now, Diablo 600, man, this is, I hate to say in the cat's ass, but it is, it just has a feel that like, I've not been able to mimic with the, uh, it just feels right. It's not explainable. The other helis, I can't get there. Um, I'm using old school body clips. That's what it comes with and the O-rings. I don't really want the sliding battery tray. I don't need it. Let's fly with the uh, yellow and red canopy today. Okay. I will not get 14 minutes on this. 3300, 12S. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen, Johnny. I don't even know who Johnny is. Pretty easy canopy to get on. I don't have the big enough um, grommets. They're not for this. So I'm gonna dremel out the canopy a little and put the right size grommets because it's too hard. Beautiful looking heli, I think, in the air. My favorite. Just love the shape. Love the way this canopy mounts in the front with these plastic blocks. So you never have any wear on this canopy from where it mounts, like the Oxy's mount into the frame and they, they crack in where you don't have that. Never cracked the Diablo down here ever. Uh, phenomenal tail on this thing too, in the head. Work of art, 30 millimeter boom. Oh, one thing I want to do, turn the head speed down. Don't need uh Come on. Yes, it's kind of um 1550, it's not bad. Let's go. Whoops. Lost my mind. Now let's go to 1500. Save it. That's not saving. Stupid thing. Two sixteen fifty. Let's just do sixteen hundred. I, I never need more than sixteen hundred in this thing. It is so freaking locked. I mean, it's, 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 the cycle looks insane. It feels like you're flying twice the head speed. Yeah, nineteen my ass. I never used nineteen. I don't know what to do with nineteen. So young, just a young boy hack. This is so clunky, but you can do it from the TX for cheap. What do we want? 17? 1680. Yeah, fuck it, 1670. Alright. No volts are showing. It's not generally a good thing. Um, so, and the temperature is not 32 degrees VSC. I can promise you that. So, our telemetry cable is connected. I know I screwed around with this the other day. I was having problems with a different heli and I needed to see something. There we go. 
So there's like no explanation why I did that. Sometimes the icon, the hobby wing, I don't know, man. We're talking. Spectrum. Some days I just want to go get a freaking. See that? It just pops right on the front. Some people have trouble with it. Sometimes you do. Um, sometimes I just want to go with V-Bar. This shit. This spectrum. Brain. Telemetry integration is not... It's like it's something they found by accident in MSH. And they implemented it through Spectrum and all the other radios, but Spectrum and them were never made for it, really. So, good on MSH. Bad on Spectrum. They have done nothing to advance heli stuff. The radio gear. Bastards. Alright, usually start up with no expo. This thing sounds awesome, the drivetrain. I think that album's canting. That's 1490. Just. Those stops are a little much. Oh man. 1400 feels like 2000. These are on six six hundreds. I love this holly. Yeah, let's turn the tailgate down. It's a little ridiculous. Probably one of the nicest um, how it, rolling hollies. I'll say that. And flipping. See, I told you, it's just a nice damn alley. Look at that, I mean, look at the freaking flip rate on such a low RPM. You don't usually get that. And I have my settings, I don't reach the settings I have at this low RPM. That's so fast. And the birds, the hawks, are enjoying the thermals today. Oh, how high that is. 200 feet. a little too fast. I don't know what settings I have on that airplane. Yeah, I'm turning that tail down. Makes it hard to fly when it's too fast. Okay, I can't get my timing right for my sloppy pyro flip. I'm hesitant on tail, so I'm not bringing the tail all the way around. feeling sloppy right now after coming off the TDF which was really smooth and like muted. This is sharp and crispy. That one will blow it too. Let's try it on a higher gyro rate and see what happens. There we go. Oh, look at it shake. Tailwind oscillation. It's like, what are you doing to me? This thing sounds like an angry bee in the sky. The cyclic pop in this thing is pretty sweet. Yeah, 
it's windy up there today. You can hear the tails on both of them. Oh yeah, and you can feel it um, going uh, left. It's like it's fighting the wind. It's gonna rain. Surprisingly, this canopy doesn't have that great of visibility. Over, there. I have an orange and green, light orange. I can see that better. Yellow, yellows for my eyes are not the best. I like reds and uh, oranges. With all that one explains why I was going right on the Hensi. See what a TikTok on this does up there. Yeah, it's more like a no talk. Yeah, it's going right too. I like the canopy upside down better. Looks really cool upside down. Why is that? Look at that thing. I think you go forward, it just goes. Look at that, you just push that thing. Just goes, baby. Oh, we still got battery. No way you'll get a 600 to last for uh, 14 minutes like the Henslet. Plus this weighs, I think it weighs an ounce more than my Henslet. I don't remember. But it has no boom struts, which I don't really care. Boom struts don't bug me. I actually have the boom strut kits for this because in Europe they sell it with it. In the USA they didn't. Or no, in the USA they Chuck Burt from Peak Aircraft requested them, so. You really don't need them, I don't think. I've crashed the boom in three times, and it's not gonna save it, probably. You're just gonna be replacing carbon fiber boom struts along with boom. Maybe. We'll try it. You know why they say never fly over your head? You get really, um, over your head's fine. But there's a fine line between over your head and just behind you. And whatever reason, man, when a hell gets behind you, you get so freaking disoriented. You generally lose it if you're not careful. fly more this way, but I gotta get really high up, because then I can go like that. Get way more sky. Let's go like this. Stand over here, I get more. And also I can, I can fly into my house. Fly through the window and scare my wife. See, now with this wing, just as much as the Henslet, but smaller blades, you can hear the blade farts because 
Um, it's you put weight on these blades, and that's what gives it the farts. On the Henslet with a light 7S, you don't hear anything. Well, that and RPM, but. weight on that Haslett, you'll hear the blade parts. Oh, we got to come in. Battery's low. Not the landing I envisioned, but I want to get it down fast, so I went over my limit on the battery. So what did we get here? 950. Not bad. Some of these guys are flying three minute flights. I'm not talking about the good 3D pilots, I'm talking about people flying sport. Or what they call big air. This is just big air sport. You don't need 2000 RPM, 2400 RPM flying three minutes. I don't get it. What are you doing? Nothing, because you don't know how to do anything. Just like me, and that's why I don't fly 2300 RPM. I'd rather fly for 10 minutes. But people just follow um, their heroes in this sport and many others. They don't understand their skill level. They think they're at a higher level than they really are a lot of times. They don't want to admit it. You want to talk like they're the big boys. Oh, yeah, I'm at 2200, man. I'm ripping up the sky. And all this is blade noise and battery loss. I mean, honestly, what, what did I do there sport flying that most people can't do sport flying? You can do everything at that head speed with the right heli. That's not even warm. I mean, you can hold it, it's warm. See, 120 versus 170, 160 on the Henslet. Servos are about the same temperature as the uh, BKs. ESC is way cooler. Nice. Signing off.